again, this is Miss RV. We are over at Kahala Community Park, and today we're going to be making brown sugar bubble tea. So today what you're going to be needing is some tapioca pearls. So we have little ones, and then we got a little bit of the bigger ones, and then we have some tips and tricks on how to cook the big ones. And then you're going to be needing some brown sugar, some water, some non-dairy creamer for those of you that aren't dairy people or you can also use normal dairy. So right now, um, we are going to cook the little ones. So we're just gonna add them in. So you wanna make sure that when you cook them that we have a nice bubbly water. And you're gonna let that soak for about five minutes. Um, if you are gonna be doing the bigger ones, um, the processes are going to be a little bit different. Um, you're going to want to cook it for 15 minutes and then you're going to let it set, uh, rest on the side for another 15 and then you're going to redo that process another two times. So you want to bring it to a boil three different times and so if you want to see we do have what it looks like at each different stages. So at the first stage you have a little bit more of a whiter inners and as we go it gets a little bit more opaque and then at the end it does come out to be clear so depending on if you like hard tapioca or softer it's all up to your preference and how you want to eat it so it's been about 10 minutes since it's been boiling and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drain it uh, we're going to leave a little bit of water still left in the pot and then we're going to add some brown sugar to that. Once most of the water is drained, you're going to leave just a little bit of water still left in with the tapioca pearl. And then once it's ready, we're going to add some brown sugar so we can add um, a flavor to the tapioca. So now we're gonna be adding in some brown sugar for some flavor. If you don't wanna do brown sugar, you can put honey, um, anything that you think might add some really good flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix it very carefully so it doesn't spill. for about 15 minutes. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and make our brown sugar sauce. So you're going to need a fourth cup of water and a fourth cup of brown sugar. You're going to mix it together in your pan. And then you're going to let this come to a boil. It's probably going to take you guys about 20 minutes to get to that consistency that you're going to like. Um, but we already went ahead and did that process. So this is the consistency that you're gonna be wanting. It's a little bit thick and gooey and sweetness. It's gonna add so much flavor. So now we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our brown sugar milk tea. Um, so you're going to need a blender. You're going to add in one cup of water. And then you're also going to add in one cup of creamer. Um, we're lactose, so we all decided to do um, non-dairy creamer. Um, but if you guys want to use different flavors, that's up to you guys. Um, if you guys didn't want to, you guys can use whole milk. If you guys are going to use milk, um, to still I would recommend you guys to still have one cup. And then you're going to roughly put in about two cups of ice. And then if you want to, you can also add in 
blueberries or any frozen fruits. You can also add in um, some of the kids' favorites, Nesquik, that tastes really yummy. You can add however much tapioca you would like. And then we're gonna add some sauce. I like to add it to the sides. Get it all nice and gooey. And then we are going to add in our milk tea and then you have your brown sugar milk tea. 